Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to take a look at multiplication with negative numbers. But before we get started, we got to get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. Let's get started right there. 2 times 3. Remember, 2 times 3 means 2 plus 2 plus 2, which will be 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is equal to 6, right? Remember, positive times a positive will always give you a positive. Because if you multiply two positive numbers together, you're always going to be moving to the right on the number line. Now, what about negative 1 times 3? Well, negative 1 times 3 means negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1. We're adding negative numbers, so you can rewrite it as negative 1 subtract 1 subtract 1. Well, if we add three negative 1s together, we do end up with negative 3. So negative 1 times a positive 3 is negative 3. This means a negative times a positive must be negative. And by the commutative property for multiplication, if negative times positive is negative, positive times negative must also be negative. Now, back in the opposite video, we talked about how taking the opposite of a number, mathematically, will be done by multiplying the number by negative 1. So, multiplying the number by negative 1 is the same as taking the opposite of the number. And so, the opposite of a positive 3 is negative 3. Therefore, if we take negative 1 and multiply to a positive 3 to calculate its opposite, the answer must be negative 3, because a negative times a positive is negative. Okay, let's look at negative 1 times 5. That's negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1. Since we're adding negative numbers, we can rewrite it as negative 1 subtract 1 subtract 1 subtract 1 subtract 1. And if we perform the calculation on the number line, negative 1 plus a negative 1 plus a negative 1 plus a negative 1 plus a negative 1 is negative 5. And so notice here, again, we see a negative times a positive gives us a negative result. And by the commutative property for multiplication, Positive times negative has to also be negative. And again, let's repeat this note. Multiplying a number by negative 1 is the same as taking the opposite of a number. So the opposite of a positive 5 is negative 5. And so if we take negative 1 and multiply by positive 5, the result is negative 5, because the opposite of 5 is negative 5. Okay, let's talk about a negative times a negative. Well, we know the opposite of negative 5 has to be positive 5, right? Well, let's translate that word statement into a math statement. Here's the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. But we just saw that to mathematically calculate the opposite of number, you multiply by negative 1. So if we take negative 1 and multiply by negative 5, the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. The answer has to be positive. Therefore, we see that a negative times a negative must be positive. And that's because the opposite of negative numbers will always be positive. So that's the best way I can come up with to explain why a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay, let's do some problems. Negative 1 times a negative 8. Instead of using a little cross to represent multiplication, I can simply put the negative 1 outside the parentheses and say negative 1 times negative 8 is the same as the opposite of negative 8, which is positive 8, because a negative times a negative is positive. Here's a positive times a negative. We will end up with a negative result. 3 times negative 8 has to be a negative 24. Here we have a positive with two negatives being multiplied. Well, a negative 5 times a negative 2 has to be a positive 10. Now let's bring down our 3, and when you multiply two positives together, you end up with a positive, so 3 times 10 is 30, right? And here we have three negatives being multiplied together. Now don't get scared. Let's use some Kung Fu here. Negative 5 times a negative 2 is a positive 10, because negative times a negative is positive. And bring down our negative 4. And we have negative 4 times a positive 10. Negative times a positive is negative, and so our answer is negative 40. And there you go. So notice when you have three negatives being multiplied together, you have a negative result. When you have two negatives being multiplied together, you end up with a positive result. That's it for now. I hope to see you again soon.